I'm Mike Les, Field Service Rep with Versatile Tractor. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and operate the electric hydraulic remotes on all the new Versatile Tractors. This monitor here is for our hydraulics. First off, after we start the tractor, we have to turn this on. This monitor can be turned on over on the side console with this button right here that has got a symbol of a hydraulic cylinder. Press the button, it lights up and our screen comes on. Tractors come with either four electric hydraulic remotes or six remotes. This tractor here has six, so our screen shows six remotes. There's three different modes for operating the hydraulics on the Versatile tractors. We can run them in manual, we can run them in a time detent mode, or we can run them in a continuous flow mode for implements that require constant down pressure or even a hydraulic motor such as on a planter or an air seeder. To adjust our hydraulics, we have these symbols on the side here. We have remotes one, two, three, four, five, and six. Notice the six arrows down the side. The top arrow, number one arrow, controls remote number one, second arrow down two, three, and so on. To change these, our symbol right here shows a hand. That means manual. In the manual mode, when we pull back on the remote, notice we have an arrow that we are raising our implement. I let off, the lever goes to neutral. If I press forward in manual, now I am lowering my implement, and if I push it all the way forward, it actually goes into a float mode if required. If I want to change from the manual mode, I can now go to the time detent mode simply by pressing and holding the arrow for a second. Now notice I have, instead of a hand symbol, I have a clock, that is the time detent mode. If I wanted to go on and set this to the continuous flow mode, I would press and hold the arrow for a second. Now this symbol is changed again to the continuous flow mode. It allows the operator to simply just pull back on the lever once and your symbol shows that you're raising your hydraulics or lowering your hydraulics depending which direction you want to run the continuous flow in. It will stay there as long as the tractor is running. If I wanted to turn this off, the operator just simply pulls back on the lever for a split second, and that remote goes back to the neutral position. I am now going to show you how to set the time detent. In this case, I am going to set it on remote number one. The operator would simply go to the remote of choice and press the arrow twice. Okay, notice after I press the arrow twice, the symbol for remote number one turned green. It is now ready to record and allow the operator to set up the time detent mode. In this case, we're gonna simulate that it takes eight seconds to raise our implement and eight seconds to lower our implement. I would simply go to remote number one and I would raise my implement and count to eight. Once the implement is up, the operator simply lets off to neutral, then he has to reverse the motion. I'm gonna lower my implement. I'm gonna hold it for roughly eight seconds again or till my implement is completely on the ground. Once I let off, it goes back to neutral. Now notice my green symbol went to a clock. That shows that it has taken the setting for the time detent. After the time detent is set, this allows the operator to simply pull back on the lever one time for a split second and let go. As you can see, my arrow shows that my implement is raising and it will continue to raise as long as I held that during the setting process. Lowering the implement would be the same thing. I would just press the lever the opposite way for a split second. Symbol shows that it is lowering our implement and it will continue to do that for as long as the operator held it during the setting process. To adjust the flow on the electric hydraulic screen, we have an adjustment knob here on the right hand side that allows us to toggle between the remotes. To adjust the flow, the operator needs to press the button in the middle of the adjustment knob. The box now lights up in green. When this box is lit up in green, that allows you to turn the flow down or up with the adjustment knob. After the hydraulic flow has been adjusted to the desired setting, the operator can simply press the button in the middle of the adjustment knob and then toggle to another remote to set it. The brightness of the hydraulic screen can be adjusted using these two bottom arrows here on the right hand side. By using the bottom button, the operator can dim his screen or by pressing the second one up, he can brighten the screen, which may help in nighttime operation. The camera can be ordered through Versatile and can be mounted on the implement and plugs into the back of the electrohydraulic screen. To use this during field operation with the camera hooked up, the operator can simply press the button here next to the camera icon. 
Once he presses that, notice the screen changes from hydraulics to the camera mode. This will allow the operator to view the camera display. If the operator needs to go back, he can simply press the home button, toggle back to his hydraulic screen. All this information can be found in your tractor operator's manual, or for more information, please visit us at www.versatile-ag.com.